Dog won't stop licking paws, Gut tells Dad to watch baby monitor. When Glenn Joseph turned on the monitor, he found himself feeling nervous. He had no idea what he would see. His gut had been telling him that the answer lay here. As he reviewed the footage, he realized that his instincts were right. Watching his baby boy head towards the dog, something surged within him, an intense emotion he couldn't quite name. For Glenn Joseph and his wife, Georgia, moving to Wisconsin had been a significant change. The pair of 28-year-olds were not accustomed to life in the Midwest. Glenn was a CPA, while Georgia was a fifth-grade school teacher. Sunny Florida had been a far cry from the frigid temperatures out here, but the weather wasn't the only surprise waiting for them. As a CPA, Glenn's greatest ambition was to work for one of the big four firms. When he was offered a senior associate position at one of them, it was a dream come true. He knew Georgia would support him since the position was so far away. What he didn't expect was the other big news the couple would get once they reached there. Shortly after their marriage, the couple had adopted a rescue dog. Caesar was a white boxer with black and brown highlights. Adopted from a local rescue shelter, he had a very docile personality for such a large dog. It was also a sign that he'd likely experienced trauma as a former street dog. When the Josephs heard that Georgia was pregnant too, they knew their little family was complete. Settling into their new lives hadn't been easy. Milwaukee was a city whose places and customs differed from theirs, but they adjusted well. The months flew by blissfully, and the couple found themselves loving their new life and home. In January 2020, the big moment they had all been waiting for finally arrived. Mikkel Joseph was a six-pound, nine-ounce baby. Glenn and Georgia were thrilled. It seemed they were blessed beyond their wildest imaginations. It didn't take long for this to all change. After little Mick was born, later that same evening, Georgia could tell something wasn't right. Her suspicions were confirmed when doctors gave the couple some bad news. The doctors informed the Josephs that Mick had a rare heart defect. At first, this news was highly distressing, and the couple feared the worst. Their fears eased once the doctors explained that the defect was treatable, as long as directions were followed. It was a huge relief, but there was still one snag, Mick couldn't leave the hospital just yet. After a two-week wait, Mick was finally deemed healthy enough and discharged. A little worried about how Caesar would react to the infant, the couple were ecstatic when Caesar immediately took to Mick. The pair were like brothers, and Caesar showed more excitement these days than ever before. The couple now had a new problem. Caesar was fully grown, and Mick was still too delicate. The couple tried to keep them apart more, but Caesar refused to leave his side. Eventually, Mick's crib was set up with Caesar's doggy bed beside it. Seeing how Caesar watched over Mick day and night was touching. The two were like brothers. However, like any other sibling relationship, trouble wasn't far away either. Part of Mick's treatment regime required the rubbing of nitroglycerin gel on his chest before bed, but he was otherwise as carefree as any young child. In no time, a year passed, while Mick and Caesar became inseparable along the way. As Mick grew, he cherished every moment spent near his brother. That was when Glenn first noticed that something was wrong with Caesar. Glenn noticed that Caesar would frantically lick his paws every morning. Checking them, Glenn found they were red, gave off a weird scent, and seemed to be having some sort of allergic reaction. Glenn's instincts told him to check Mick's room, since the pair both slept there each night. Glenn had installed a baby camera in the room. As he studied it now, his jaw dropped. Now that Mick was old enough to walk, it seemed each night, after tossing and turning and not being able to sleep, Mick would climb out of his crib. Snuggling himself next to Caesar and sleeping with the dog's paws around him had become a routine. Glenn finally realized what the weird smell on Caesar's paws was, it was Mick's nitroglycerin ointment. Now that the mystery was solved, Mick and Georgia were relieved. A quick trip to the vet fixed Caesar's allergy to Mick's ointment. Now that the couple knew that Mick had outgrown his crib, they had to make a decision. After reviewing the footage together and watching the adorable scene over and over, the couple knew what they had to do. It was clear that Mick and Caesar were not separating, so the couple decided to make them more comfortable instead. With the crib removed, a brand new double bed was put in, so Mick and Caesar could now sleep beside each other every night. The new arrangement was adorable, but there was just one thing missing. When Glenn and Georgia first chose their new house, they never imagined that the baby room would end up having two occupants so soon. Since it was clear Caesar would not be moving out, there was just one change left to make. Taking down the first sign that hung on the door, Glenn replaced it with one that now read, Mick and Caesar's room. 